So we're back for part three of the basic knots for whips series. Today we're gonna have a look at the pineapple interweave. And right here we have a six byte seven part base knot, as I call it. If you need help with tying this knot, just check the previous video on the six byte seven part two pass knot. Right now I'm at the stage where I would go up under the standing end and follow that around to make it a two pass knot. But since we're doing a pineapple interweave, we are gonna do things a bit different. Now if you wanna do a single colored pineapple knot, you would just uh, head up under these strands right here. Uh, but I'm going to add a contrasting color to get this characteristic zigzag pattern in the knot. So I have to get rid of my brandy strand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under two strands. Right there. Like so. I'm gonna grab a scissor and just cut that off. Like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce our red strand, which is my contrasting color today. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with our red strand following our standing end right here. So I'm gonna feed this one through this cross right here. So, and we're gonna pull that through. Being a bit gentle, like so. So the end of the strand is right there and we're coming out alongside our standing end right here. Now the pineapple interweave is one of the basic knots for whips. It does however have a few characteristics and the moves that might have you a bit confused. But just like with most Turks head knots, just stick with it, practice, practice, practice and the knots will start to make more sense. I promise you that. Uh, now, what we're gonna do is we are going to follow the strand that's on our left. And we're coming up right here. So we're just gonna follow the strand that's on the left of it, right here. And when we're coming back down, we are gonna do the same thing. We, we will be coming down between the strands and we're gonna follow the one that's on the left. So if you're coming down here, you're gonna follow this one. So we are gonna go under this one. And just for the first pass be a bit careful so that you don't pull the beginning out. So I just like to place my thumb quite hard on it so that I can pull this tight. There we are. Now, if I was doing a two pass, I would just continue following this around and head up to the top right here. But instead, we are gonna cross underneath both these strands at this X junction. Like so. And here's a small trick for the pineapple knot. I like to keep a needle at hand or something else that's 
short and thin. And when I tighten this strand right here, it does have a tendency to want to slide in under this one and come down. So I just place the needle underneath like so. That way I can tighten it without having it slide down underneath a lot of other strands. So there we are. And we're gonna follow the strand that's on the left of it. So we are coming down right here. So we're gonna follow this one. So this one goes over, we go over. This one goes under, we go under. Now we've come down to the bottom, so we're gonna do the same thing we did on the top, and that's cross under the X right here. And we're also gonna cover up the beginning of our strand right there. again. Just place that in there. That allows me to pull it tight. And we're gonna head back up to the top of the knot. Once again, following the strand that's on the left. Now here's where things start to get a bit more complicated. Uh, right now we're gonna go under the cross once again, but we're also going to go under our contrasting strand, or the pass that we just made, if you're using, if you're doing a single color knot, like that. So essentially you are going under three. Continue following the strand on the left, it goes over so we go under this one. Now we got the same situation on the bottom. We're gonna go under the cross and our contrasting strand. So once again essentially under three. up following the strand that's on the left. Like 
so going under three at the top. So right now the knot will start to try and mess with us once again. We've always followed the strand that's on the left. That's this one right here that comes down. Uh, but if we're gonna follow that right now, we're gonna go over one and under two. But instead we are gonna go over two and under one. So we're gonna go over our contrasting strand and under the strand from the base knot. And that way we're back alongside our guiding strand. Like so. And we're back down to the base again. Three, just like we always do down here or up there. to say at this point and we run into the same situation again so we're gonna go over two and under one to get back along our guiding strand So, and once again things look a bit different. Now we're gonna go over two and then under two. It's never more than over two and it's never more than under two. So we're gonna go over two and then under two, like that. Which put us back at the bottom again. We're going under three, believe it or not. Heading back up, we're gonna go 
over two and then under two. We are gonna go under three. Whoops. so and the next time we're coming around it'll be for our, our final pass down here so once again we are over to under two And then we're gonna go over to again. We're gonna go over this one and the next one to find our under three right here. And it's time for our final pass. We are over two, under two. And then over two again to find our under three right here. And making our way down for the last time, we got over two and then under two. And then over these two again now if if now if we had to do another run i would go under three again but we're gonna finish this knot up right now so i'm just gonna go so i'm just gonna bring it over these two like we normally would and then under the rest and out like so
And that's our six byte pineapple nut done. What I'm gonna do right now is like you've seen me do before in these videos, I'm gonna take my fid, move things around, tighten things up slightly, give it a roll and then we'll check in for the final product. And there we are, that's our pineapple knot done. Now next up this whip is gonna get a coat of shellac and some final greasing. And after that the whip will be shipped to its new owner, who I know is looking forward to this one. I hope this uh, three part video series on the basic knots for whips has helped you out. I enjoy making small tutorials here and there, so uh, maybe there will be another knot tutorial later on, I don't know. But I do hope that uh, the videos that I've made on the knots is enough to help you out and get you started. Like I mentioned previous, th these knots seem very complicated and again they can be extremely complicated. But if you just stick to it, don't give up. Keep tying, keep retying, and uh, they will start to make more sense as you go. But that's quite enough rambling from me. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you.